All right, now I'm going to teach you how to use uh, TestGen to randomly generate a set of questions from a test bank. Uh, so here's how we go, how we do it. I'm going to first share my screen so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, the screen looks okay. So if I go to TestGen, which I can find here. Open the app. What I can do is open up, say this, and let's, let's get into a web test. Let's say this is a web test. Again, I'm gonna use Blackboard. Uh, what I can do is let's say, let's say I want to use all the conceptual questions from chapter five. Of course, you should pull out, of course, the, uh, you should pull out the ones that are not multiple choice cause Blackboard can't do much with the, with that. Uh, but in general, I could just say this section and this section, and uh, it's gonna pull any number that I want out of there. So what I do now is I say choose multiple and it'll choose them at random. So uh, if I say 15 questions and say add to test, this way I won't show you the answers. What you'll see comes up is actually 30 questions. So there'll actually be 30 questions. What it did was it took 15 from each set. So since it took 13 or 15 from each set, we now have a total of 30 questions. And all I have to do to send it to uh, Blackboard is I export it like this. I choose Blackboard like this. I name it fake test like this. Test. And to do this and it'll actually create a zip file. And the zip file we just uploaded, like I showed you in the exam view video. I'm going to call this fake test again. And I'm going to save it to daddy's tests the file where I've been saving it for the rest of these videos. And I hit save. And what you'll see is it actually appears. And I want to kill this because I don't need uh, you would normally save that, but I'm going to say no. I just don't want this sitting up there with answers on it for very long. But now if I go to documents, uh, I can see daddy's videos. And if I go to desktop, I can see daddy's stuff. And what you'll see now is fake test. I saved it somewhere else. Maybe I saved it to the videos. Let's see. I don't see it here. Uh, did I save it here? No. Ah, uh, there it is. So notice you have this .zip file. So all you do now is go into uh, Canvas, click on, in the course that you actually want, uh, click on the settings on the bottom left, uh, and then over in the far right, you'll say import course. You'll see a link to import course content. You click on that, and then you select the type of course content, which in this case will be a Blackboard. Uh, nine and you click on that do all click on all content and hit upload and just wait for it to upload and then you can import it into any quiz you like that's it so I'm going to stop sharing this and we'll end the meeting